tell me a little bit about your demo. What are you doing? So I'm showing a, a two-step demo here. I have the first phase over here, which is showing our current shipping solution for uh, um, Intel Remote Wake using an Ethernet wired solution. Uh -huh. And then we have a, an evolution of the same technology running on our uh, um, wireless chipset. Oh, I see. So now you can, uh, but how can you do wireless when the computer is sleeping? So we have uh, um, implemented the uh, um, network proxy functionality directly onto the uh, um, NIC. So when the PC goes into a low power sleep state, the NIC is actually able to handle the uh, access point uh, oh. um, associations, reassociations, stuff like that. Does that still work if you're on battery power? Or you need to be plugged in, right, for this to work? Um, and the way we're architecting it, it needs to be plugged into AC power, but right. in our actual uh, um, demo, it actually works on battery power too. Oh, I see. But normally, yeah, but normally you wouldn't, wouldn't want to uh, keep your computer partly awake just in case yeah, yeah. on yeah, battery. Because that'll, yeah. Right, right. Okay, and show me your current solution. So what, what demo do you have? So essentially down here, this is our home PC that's running inside the home, it could be in your living room or whatever. Okay. And I have it right now, I'm using Cyberlink, which is a third party uh, service, kind of like uh, log me in or go to your PC.com. Right. I'm using it to be able to provide the uh, remote accessibility to my PC, such as to access my photo albums in this particular case. Okay. Now, if you normally, if you want to access photo albums on your PC, you have to keep your PC on 24 hours a day. Uh -huh. And I know, for example, for me, I happen to have a couple computers I keep on all the time, and that generates quite a bit of heat in our house. So right. this is actually quite a cool technology. So I'll take my home PC and I'll put it into a low power sleep state. There it goes. And you'll see after a couple of seconds the uh, monitor should uh, turn itself off and you'll notice all the lights on my computer will uh, turn off. Right. So it's all off now. Yeah, so now when I go to log in, this PC here is actually connected on a completely different network. There's no Ethernet cables connected to it. This is actually connected on a completely separate network. Connect to Cyberlink's website. I'll log into my Cyberlink Live account that I set up earlier. Okay, so this is actual running product here. Yeah, this is actually shipping today. You can go and get it right now if you want. Wow. To. Okay. So you're going on their real website. Yep. Sign into Cyberlink's uh, um, service. And now when I log in, Cyberlink is going to attempt to connect to my home PC so that I can have access to my photo albums and such. Pops up this message right here saying that your PC is currently in a low power sleep state. Would you like to wake it? Now keep that in mind that this is a usage specific issue. That Cyberlink had chose to uh, opt in the user to ask if they want their PC to be woken. You right. could very well have automatically woken the PC right. if oh, you wanted to. I see. So, I'll click so you're going to go ahead and click. So I'll click on the wake button. So now going over the internet through Cyberlink's uh, um, service, it's going to send a wake signal to my PC that's sitting in my living room. Oh. You can see the monitor flipped on. And so now this is going to try to reestablish this connection back to Cyberlink. And when that happens, after a couple seconds, you'll see this will update. And it'll now give me access to the pictures and photo albums and everything else I had um, set to share on my PC, just as if my PC was on the entire time. So another thing to note, too, is that you notice that the monitor actually turned on. That's another usage issue. In this case, I had the monitor turn on just so that you could clearly see that the PC actually woke up. But in actuality, the PC would actually wake into what's called a visual off state, where the PC will be fully powered up, but the display and audio will still be in an off state. That's simply because, you know, let's say your PC is in your bedroom, it's 3 in the morning, and you're trying to access your photo albums from a different time zone. You don't necessarily want your monitor to flip right. on and any of your audio to turn on and wake everyone up in the room. Excellent. Well, thank you very much. Yeah, no problem.